Now, ex-warrant officer class one, Ashita Hammond, the 96-year-old military veteran who walked 14 miles to raise funds for the fight against the coronavirus pandemic, has donated personal protective equipment to the Ministry of Health for frontline workers. According to XWO1 Hammond, he was inspired by a similar act by a former veteran in the United Kingdom, Captain Tom Moore, who in the lead up to his 100th birthday also walked to raise funds for the fight against COVID-19. XWO1 Ashita Hammond is confident this donation, which included sanitizers, nose masks and bottles of water, will help foster Ghana's fight against the virus. Kweku Asante has more. He was 95 at the time, and two months from now, he will be 96 years. Ex-warrant officer class one, Ashiti Hammond, set for himself an ambitious target for his age of walking 14 miles to raise money for coronavirus charities. Ex-WO1 Ashiti Hammond was inspired by a similar act by UK's Captain Tom Moore, who raised millions by walking in his garden. Today, XWO1 Ashite Hammond has donated personal protective equipment and bottles of water to the Ministry of Health for frontline workers. XWO1 Ashite Hammond is hopeful that this act will inspire patriotism in Ghanaians and urged others to donate towards the fight against the pandemic. I know that once we have done this thing, it's an honor for our country. The whole Ghana and Africa, I work for Ghana and Africa. Uh, we have achieved a lot for our country. I thank all of you. Please, my appeal is that support with all your heart this thing. We know all the rich men, they have to come and support. Then uh, to do something for our country, this is all that we are here for. So I'm appealing to you to do this for us. The items, which included nose masks, sanitizers, were received on the ministry's behalf by the acting chief director, Kwabina Poku Aferi, who thanked XWO Wanashite for this selfless act and promised that the ministry will utilize it in the fight against the pandemic. You did a walk of 14 miles to raise funds for this. But for me, what comes to mind is that you said that you are donating this to frontliners because you yourself have been a frontliner frontliner in the army but the frontliners that you are admit you are giving these to are frontliners in health and all of you have fought to protect lives and i believe that is why what motivated you to donate this to the frontliners we will take these and we believe that they will go a long way to help those who are now at the front line fighting this, um, uh, this pandemic, COVID-19. XWO1 Ashite Hammond was part of the World War II veterans who marched to the castle in 1948 to demand compensation for their war service. During that march, three of the veterans were shot and killed. He narrates what happened. Our deplorable condition, if you don't ask, they won't give you. If the mountains, they, they don't go to Muhammad, Muhammad must go to the mountains. So we decided to Governor Jira Krishi to fight for our rights. And on the way, at the crossroads, Superintendent Emre said he would allow us to go to the castle. We were unarmed. So actually we negotiated with him, but he was highly impervious to reason. Now, he asked one of these people to shoot one of the sergeants. The sergeant was extremely annoyed. So he moved forward. I saw, and the gun, I saw, he, he raised the gun. If that bullet had missed sergeant to have landed on me, I wouldn't have been able to stand here today to tell you the history. 